surprise, Tam. I hope you were surprised. Happy birthday. I know that your family and friends took some time to put together this special day for you, and I'm really sorry that I couldn't be there. Uh, but I thought I would send you well wishes by way of video. So modern technology thought I would leverage it. Um, so Tam, it's been 37 years. My God, we have had a good run. You are a fantastic friend and you're like a sister to me. I love you to death. I can't believe again that I'm not there, but I know that we'll be celebrating in a couple of weeks. But I gotta tell you, over the four decades that, decades that I've known you, I've learned quite a few things. So I thought I would share with you and your friends a few of the things that I have learned. So to make it easy, let's take it by the decade. The first is the teen years. What did I learn in the teen years? Well, I can sum it up pretty easy. Three things. Is there anything in my teeth? I don't know, my eyeliner on right and, mm, God. Ah. My lips are so dry, my lips are so dry. And I think, Tam, actually in the teen years you were dating some guy, Mike, right? You had a boyfriend named Mike, huh? Sounds familiar, sounds familiar. But anyway, those were the teen years. So moving on, now we get to the 20s. I think in the 20s, you were not only dating Mike, but you might have been dating Captain Morgan. And because of Captain Morgan, I'm going to tell you right now, if there's anyone in the room listening to this video, the 20s have been redacted. All redacted. Nothing but black lines there, Tim. But what I can tell you, given the state of the world today and who's in our White House, if you want a political career, you're pretty much good to go. There's nothing that you've done that can't put you in the White House. You're squeaky clean compared to today's standards. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Just keeping it clean. It's birthday family fun. Oh, hang on. My lips are getting really dry. Really, really dry. Okay, there we go. So now we enter the 30s. And the interesting thing about the 30s, I've learned a few things about you along the way, Tam. And I know that there are certain things that are sacred in your life. One, for example, is you love your ice cream. And when you go out and you want to splurge and you want to get an ice cream sundae, it's always vanilla ice cream with strawberry topping, whipped cream, and a cherry. I know you love it. The other interesting thing that I've learned along the way is you also love your last bite and it's your best bite. So if anyone thinks they're getting a bite of that sundae, one, they better ask for it early. Two, don't think you're ever going to get the last bite. And as we talk about that last bite, I've watched you for years work around your plate and save the best bite for the last. And then I've watched a few people that thought they could come by and get a bite off your plate. Not happening, is it? I know. Alex Grant, I'm going to tell you, I know she gave birth to you, but I'm telling you right now, don't eat your mom's last bite. Anyone else in the room? Same thing. She's a very giving, caring person when it comes to the last bite. Don't cross the line. Don't cross it. Which brings, oh, wait a minute, my lips are a little dry. Yeah, yeah, there we go, all right. Which brings us to the 40s. So it's funny, so in the 30s we talked about the last bite. Now we're talking about the 40s and how many points are in the bite, which is actually quite funny, right? So you can tell that we've traveled a long road together and now we not only talk about the last bite, the best bite, but how many points are in that bite. And I think what's funny about the 40s is Tammy has a friend. We're older now. We call him friends. And I think his name is Mike. Yeah, 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 Mike. Um, and even Mike talks about the points now. So I think it's very, very funny. Tammy, you have a way of rubbing off on people. And it's a compliment. It really, really is. It's a testament to you and your character. Yeah, there you go. My lips are a little dry. So anyway, Tam, we're talking about the 50s now. And here's what we're celebrating today. We've been together for a long time. I'm looking forward to this decade as well, but I've got you a couple of things to get you through the decade. The first is, I know we've talked about retirement and you've got a long way to go, as do I. So in the 50s, we've learned that sometimes it's about enjoying your job and an instant lobotomy helps. So just to let you know, when you're at work and you can't handle it anymore, a couple sprays of this, this will get you through the day and I think it'll get us through the 50s. So something for me and you to think about. Enjoy your job lobotomy spray. The other thing is this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't get you some lip shit. So I got you some lip shit. It'll be waiting for you in Rome. Very excited to 
celebrate your birthday with you in person in Italy. Gina, I'll see you there too. And to all my peeps in the room that are turning 50, I think it's Christine, it's Kenny P, it's Tammy, it's Gina. Happy birthday to all of you. Can't wait till I see you all in person. And for now, ciao Bella.